Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, uh, well, I found it on uh, Unclean Hands channel, but I went uh, directly to the source of it and decided to address this one issue that that annoying little asshat sheep show has because apparently he feels that it is his duty and obligation along with the duty and obligation of Katie Kidman to go on to campuses and film children because they think it protects them well we'll see about that so let's go ahead and sit back and uh, try not to throw anything at your computer screen while this gibbering idiot tries to justify his actions. Katie! Listen, people. <laughs> I'm not going to have time. I've been working. I'm not going to have time to produce a video for Katie Kidman. For those of you that don't know Katie Kidman, she is currently being persecuted. Don't you mean prosecuted because, well, she's definitely not being persecuted. I mean, it's not her religious beliefs that are on trial here. It's her actions regarding uh, schools and her rather weird uh, fascination with them. I have a number of videos in my library of her stalking around uh, campuses where she's filming children which in some places is illegal to do. And, well, she was justifiably trespassed from a, quite a few of them. And, uh, well, I'll have to search through my library, but it's been a long time. And I'll have to make a, uh, a playlist of all her videos just so we can catch up on how what she did. But please... Carry on with your inane rant as if you think that you're the one in the right here, as if you think that Katie is some sort of saint when she is not really that. Up in Northern California, and I want to say Santa Maria, but I don't think it's Santa Maria. I think it might be San Luis Obispo, Katie. What county is persecuting you now? Katie is currently being persecuted. For filming at schools and at the school districts and a bunch of the blue line cop sucking people and the crybaby bitches who are may also be supporters say oh, oh, you can't film at a school you can't film at a school well slow down just think about it for a second slow down I'm gonna tell you a story I'm gonna publish this story oh and by the way if your kids went to McMartin Preschool when those perverts were molesting your children... Okay, I understand what you're trying to pull here. You're going for the McMartin uh, Preschool trials because of the satanic panic that occurred in the late 80s to early 90s, where in that particular case, everybody was acquitted or the charges were dropped because of lack of evidence for anything. I mean, at one point, one of the children said that they saw Chuck Norris among the people that came in there. This was essentially the uh, late 20th century version of the Salem witch trials. And this would happen to be a favorite within psychology classes, especially child psychology classes, wherein it demonstrates how malleable and uh, sensitive children's memories can be, where they can come up with all sorts of fanciful thoughts and ideas based upon what, other, what adults can tell them, which, which is one reason why uh, trials like that can be so difficult to uh, get through because, well, the mind of a child is still pretty much developing and... Uh, well, and they can be easily manipulated. So, Sheep Show, uh, I wouldn't uh, put a lot of stock into this particular situation if you're going that route. Children, you might have been thankful if a Katie Kidman would have showed up. Katie, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell people just a little bit of 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 what I know about you. And the only reason that I'm gonna do it, Katie, is because you told me in the past that I could. And I'm only going to share 
what I think that you're okay with me sharing. Most of you know Katie Kidman is currently, let me just say this, Katie Kidman watches YouTube. And Katie Kidman watches videos of children being victimized. And Katie Kidman has a place in her heart to protect children. That is the reason why Katie Kidman was at the schools. Okay, now I get the rationale I'll be kind uh, your issues with the schools and uh, Katie's issues with the schools, both are both of which are rooted in nonsense to begin with. Yeah, there are children that get victimized. There are kids that are uh, trafficked. But schools are not exactly 100% of the time the place where they happen, you douchebag. That is the reason why Katie Kidman went to the schools to protect the children. And you sick, disgusting, fake American pigs wanted to call her a pervert and a chomo when in her heart she went to the schools because she is watching videos of countless children being abused, being tortured, being trafficked, being sold into the sex industry, being sold into the, into the servitude industry. She's watching videos of this, and I have watched them too. So you're basing all your activities on the fact that a minority of children go through this rather than accepting the fact that the majority of the children in this world will not go through that which you have been witnessing on these videos on YouTube. Well, if that's the case, then I would say that uh, your uh, excuse for going on to these campuses and the excuse that Katie has for going on these campuses is a rather pathetic one in the end. And I'm not talking about conspiracy theorist quacks. I'm talking about 60 Minutes. I'm talking about NBC News Stories, ABC News Stories, CBS News Stories, CNN News Stories, Fox. I'm talking about mainstream media stories documenting the exploitation and the victimization of children. So, so what's your damn point, dude? Yeah, this stuff does happen, but it doesn't happen in the mass quantities that you think it does, because if it did, we'd all know about it by now. We would have children all over the place traumatized because of the school system, and that's not how it is. You see that report, and you don't even bother to use a little bit of logic and ask yourself, how widespread is this? Are all the children affected by this? No. Uh, you just appear to make assumptions that just because it is shown on the news, that means that it is covering all the schools, that this has happened at every school. So therefore, you've made it your mission to invade these schools and stop it from happening when it most likely is not happening. That is some twisted logic right there, dude. Katie has concerns about the indoctrination of our children and about how the government is trying to shut down private schools and replace them with state preschools. Do you have any proof of this or is this just another insane conspiracy theory on your part? Well, I will tell you something right now, dude, that, well, while I work for the public school system, I am assigned as a paraprofessional to a private school because, well, some of the students I deal with uh, are too much to handle for the public school system to handle, so they send them to uh, private schools where they can get all the help they need. And the main one I deal with is well over six feet tall and has ASD and has real anger issues and, well, has been known to shatter the teeth of teachers who get too close to him when he's upset. And I have to deal with that student when he gets upset. And, well, I've learned to dodge headbutts and slaps as a result of that. And so, in this particular case, we have a private school that is being utilized by 
the state to support the needs of a special needs student. And yet, here you are saying that the state and federal governments are trying to destroy these schools. Uh, no, from what I've seen, they're trying to coexist and utilizing each other's uh, set skill sets, dude. So you may want to pull your head out of your damn ass and take a look at how things actually work. Maybe you should uh, volunteer for the school system and uh, get into a classroom by, through volunteerism, behave yourself, and see how things really work. That might be a good idea right there, rather than you coming up with a bunch of conspiracy theories and nonsense to try to entertain other people who are nothing but a bunch of freaking morons that you spoon-feed this misinformation to. And there's a whole bunch of other things that Katie is aware of that concern her about our kids. And that's the reason that Katie went to the schools. Not because she has any nefarious intentions and not because she's a perv like you morons want to accuse her of being. She has a heart for kids. And because, and forgive me Katie, but you did, you did, you, you, you do dress up in some pretty crazy get-ups. You do, you do dress up kind of crazy, Katie. Not that I don't love it, but you do. Sometimes, Katie, you do dress up a little. Katie, I saw your video with you dressed up out there. I saw Katie. Come on. Anyways, Katie can be a little bit eccentric sometimes. But because she was out there at the schools, she's being persecuted by our government. They are trying to charge her with more misdemeanors and threatening her with something like six or seven years in jail. Because she went out there at the schools and filmed at the schools. Now you saw my follow-ups. I went out to the same place, did the exact same thing. I didn't get arrested. How come I didn't get arrested? I went out there and stood in the same spot. I stood in the exact spot where she was arrested and I filmed the same people and I didn't get arrested they didn't even stop they drove right past me now to be fair I give a lot of that credit to God and I and I and I, and I listen some people say coincidence I always call miracles my God's always protected me and whenever something good happens to me I give God the credit so you could call it coincidence, but I say my God protected me and saved me from going to jail that time. And the time that he didn't save me and allowed me to go to jail, well, he had a good reason for it. I just don't know what it is. I went to the other school where that whacked out principal locked down the school because I went there and I asked her a question. She didn't have any evidence that I meant any harm. She didn't have any evidence that I was armed. She didn't have any evidence that I meant any harm I meant to say at the school. I went there and asked a question. I clearly articulated my reason for being there to the vice principal. And this crazy broad locked down the school. Now, I know why she did it. And people in the know know why she did it. She did it to create a circumstance that she could blame me for. See, it wasn't that she locked down the school for her own reasons and it was a mistake on her part. It was I made her lock up down the school because I had the nerve to show up with the camera and ask a question. Now, I'm going to address this, and this is going to be my last thing that I'm going to address before I call it on this sorry SOB. First thing I'm going to address with this part of the rant, of his rant, is them locking down the schools and him trying to transfer blame off of himself. They didn't know who the hell you were. And it wasn't about the camera, you freaking douche canoe. It was about some strange unknown person who had wandered onto the campus and they didn't know who he was. Because, you know, that's how things start out. Somebody wanders onto the campus, and next thing you know, they start some violence that ends up with a lot of people being erased from existence. And that 
has not only been a case in this century, in fact, in last century, I don't know if you ever heard of the Bath School Massacre, where a psycho decided that he didn't like the Bath School in Michigan and ended up unaliving 45 people in 1927 as a result of that. Get over yourself, because this has been an issue, an ongoing issue with schools for decades and even centuries, because there have been issues like this going on in the United States schools and around the world for well over a century as well. Which that segues into my next point, you lame brain doofus. Now, while I may be a paraprofessional right now, I do have a statement of eligibility to be a teacher in the state of Florida and training in that particular field as well, which includes ethics, methods of teaching, and a whole other long list of other issues, including this. This is the Florida Administration Code Principles of Conduct for the Education Profession in the State of Florida. Now, if you look right here, obligation to the student requires the individual shall make reasonable effort to protect the student from conditions harmful to learning and or the student's mental and or physical health and or safety. Now, had this been in Florida, and I'm sure it probably is the same way in California, I don't know, I haven't read their codes of conduct, but had this been in Florida, then the teacher, well, the pr principal, the vice principal, would have been in the right to do what she did, lock down the school when some unknown person walked up onto that campus and uh, proposed an issue to the state of learning on the campus. She didn't know who the hell you were. She didn't know what you were about. It is best to be cautious and get the police officers involved rather than do nothing and something terrible happens to people on the campus, as history has shown. You just don't walk onto any place and think that everybody knows your intentions are pure. That's not how it works. That's never how it has worked. So now, getting back to that first priority right there. As an educator myself in the state of Florida, whether it be a paraprofessional or a full-fledged teacher, my first obligation is to the health and safety of the students on the campus, no matter what school I am at. And that is something I take very seriously, and I do my job to the best of my ability. It's to the point where if I saw somebody who I didn't know walk onto campus without all proper authorization, I probably would have done the exact same thing. I would have let the principal know through the radio that somebody had just stepped onto campus improperly and let it happen from there and let the police get involved. Better to take some action now than let my inaction result in some serious consequences later on. Because our concern, our first concern is with the safety of the children and not some idiot who walks off the street. That is our concern. And it is not the damn camera. It is the intentions of the person behind the camera that are the suspicious actions, not the camera itself. So my conclusion is this. If you cannot uh, separate yourself from these news clippings and this uh, old uh, issue with that one daycare that from over 30 years ago that happened, nearly 40 years ago by now, and that you can't separate yourself from what's going on right now and realize that things might have changed, well, you shouldn't be on these campuses to begin with. Well, I better stop myself right here because it's already been six minutes and uh, 
well, I don't want to do this any longer. I want to get my mind off this idiot. So enough with the rant. Until next time, guys, I will see you on the next video. Have a nice time.